The Burnbaker Trust in Wilton are aiming to rehabilitate offenders through the therapeutic benefits of art. The prison art project is based at the Salisbury Charity's main site and supplies around 3,000 prisoners nationally with art products and materials. We offer the offenders um, £50 worth of art materials and in return we ask them to send us their complete artworks. We will advertise them, put them on the website, exhibit them, hopefully sell them, and the offender gets 70% of what we make, and the rest go, gets reinvested back into purchasing art materials. I love it, absolutely not. I never know what I'm going to get in. Sometimes I get some risque pictures, sometimes I get some pictures I think, is that ever going to sell? And they do. They really do sell, yeah. Most of the pictures are of huge, tremendous quality. Eva has been running the project for 10 years now and has been supplying some of the same prisoners for all this time. She even writes to them and has seen firsthand how beneficial the art is for the prisoners. It gives them a sense of achievement. Um, sometimes it's the first time they've actually achieved something by producing something on their own. I, I taught in prison myself and I, I see the, the therapeutic benefits of art in prison. Um, it's... It's it's amazing how much it can help somebody. Um, art is, is an amazing tool. It's free of charge, basically, because it comes from your heart. But supplying materials to prisons has to be carefully managed. The offender looks through uh, a catalogue like this, which is full of um, various art materials. Having taught in prison myself, I'm very aware of what is and what isn't allowed in prison. And if there's anything that I find a bit dodgy on the order, then I normally contact the prison and ask if that's OK. Um, if, if it is, then fair enough, at least I've got some authorisation. If not, then needless to say, I remove it from the order. The Trust have been a registered charity since 1975, but along with the Prison Art Project, receive no funding. This initiative relies on the generosity of local businesses and the sales of the artwork. Raya Barton, That's TV.